Garrick DeMeyer from Rail Constrictor Designs. We're right in the middle of the 2015 hatching season. Got so many cool things coming out. I wish I could show all of them, but uh, I just wanted to hit a few highlights that I have here uh, from this hatching season, whatever hatch this week anyway. Um, the first ones are a couple of old standby favorites. Uh, just some nice mid white, mid to higher white pines. Um, balling up on me real nicely, of course. I still got some vermiculite on them. I just took them out of the incubator. These are both females and they're going to be holdbacks. I still want to grow up my pied collection a bit more than what I have it right now. Can't seem to produce enough pieds no matter how hard I try, so I'm just got to keep adding more and more breeders to the collection. These mid whites are probably the most popular. Like the looks of this one right here, I think overall is what most people gravitate towards the most. Um, this one's really nice too. This one's got awesome orange colors in it. But uh, I'll put these into various projects, coral glower, banana, um, probably firefly, uh, yellow belly, you know, I'll add a bunch of other genes to these to make some more interesting color combinations. So anyway, I just wanted to show those pites. The next clutch is a clutch I've been working on for a long time. I can't believe it's taken me this long, but it's the uh, banana genetic stripe. And what I did is I took a banana het genetic stripe and I bred it to a cinnamon genetic stripe. Unfortunately, we did not hit the cinnamon banana genetic stripe, so I've got a couple more clutches incubating and I might even get another clutch or two this year. So all hope isn't lost with that yet. I think the cinnamon banana stripe should be mostly an all purple snake. But here's a nice little male regular banana genetic stripe. I really think the banana and stripe mix very very well together. So that's the banana genetic stripe. And then we have a cinnamon here too. Cinnamon genetic stripe that is. They almost look like a super cinnamon. They have a little bit of you know the striping that you can see but they're pretty Pretty solid, dark, kind of a chocolate brown looking snake. So for people that don't want to deal with some of the genetic issues that super cinnamons have, the cinnamon genetic stripe is an excellent way to go. And even the regular cinnamons from this clutch, there's a couple that are still in the egg yet. I'm not going to mess with those a whole bunch. But check out the cinnamon. So this is just a cinnamon het genetic stripe. It's crazy looking how that stripe came out like that. It's such a dark snake. I'd love to produce bananas that look like that. Everything that's black on this snake would be purple. So hopefully in the next clutch I'll get some cinnamon genetic striped bananas. Really cool snakes. Okay. The next one I did a pastel calico to killer bee breeding and uh, not 100% sure what I have here exactly um, but some really nice looking killer bees I'm not sure if there's calico in some of these or not you know this is a if this is a calico it's a very low white expression of it I'm thinking it probably is not a calico but I don't know because this is a more typical killer bee this one's got a really white head and just a little bit lighter colors, a little bit more blushing in the dark pattern. And then I have this one right here too. It's another killer bee, maybe calico. Calicos don't always come out with a lot of white. You'll see if you look around at a lot of calicos online. They, It's more of a an aberrant pattern than it is high white. Like the sugars tend to have higher white. The calicos sometimes will have white, but a lot of times it's just more of it really whacks out the pattern. Here's a couple others that I got. This is a really nice looking pastel calico. See again, not a lot of white. A little bit along there, but not much. It's more the pattern that the calicos get. Look at that blushing on the side. A really really impressive snake and then this one's really cool too kind of got some paradoxing going on and I don't think this is a super pastel it, it very well may be actually you know now that I think about it, it probably is
but it doesn't have the blushing on the head that a super pastel usually has. Like the head makes me think it's a regular pastel, but I don't know. That's a lot. Like this whole back half of the body is really blushed and all kinds of crazy stuff going on. So maybe it is a super pastel. That's the problem with this stuff. Some of it is so hard to tell what it is. Sometimes it becomes more obvious once it grows up and becomes a little bit bigger. Like this is a super pastel, that really white head like that. Looks like he took an eraser and just wiped off all the pattern off of his head. But this isn't the calico either, this is just a straight super pastel. So, pretty cool clutch. Okay, now we got another clutch that just started hatching. Um, this is from an Orange Dream Yellow Belly Pinstripe bred to an Enchi Mojave all kinds of possibilities in there and I have a feeling most of the stuff I'm not really going to even be able to identify for sure what it is. Most of the babies are still in the egg. Um, this I think is an Orange Dream Yellow Belly Enchi Pin. Maybe. Again it'll become more obvious once they're um, once they're actually you know shed and they start growing up a little bit. Yeah, I believe that's an Orange Dream Yellow Belly Pin Enchi. I don't think there's a Mojave in this one. This one right here, I think there's a pretty good chance that there's Mojave in it. Just with the way that pattern looks, and it's definitely Enchi. I mean, look at the head on that. The colors on it are just going to explode once this thing sheds and starts growing a little bit. Orange Dream is just such an awesome morph, especially if you combine it into the right babies or the right combos. It's just incredible. Okay, so I'll check back with that clutch in a couple of days when the rest of them hatch out. Now, onto some clown stuff. Okay, the first one I wanted to show. These are already in shed, but this is from a, an orange or what is this, uh, an orange dream, got orange dream on the brain. Butterbee hat clown to pastel hat clown. And unfortunately when you do hat to hat breedings, you don't end up with very many of the visual recessives. So there's not much for clown in here. But here's a nice Butterbee possible hat clown. These have been hatched out for a few days now too, so they're starting to go through their, their initial shed. Here's another Butterbee possible hat clown. If I had to put money on which one's the hat, I'd say this one would be because just a little bit brighter colors. And with the clown stuff, sometimes you can just tell by looking at it, just a, a certain look that the hat clowns have, where you, you can just tell that they're not just normals. That's a pastel butter possible hat clown. And we got a bumblebee possible hat clown, spider possible hat clown, and then here's a spider clown. This is a female. I know I already checked her a few days ago when she first hatched out. These grow up to be really impressive looking snakes. I hatched one of them out in 2013 and she's awesome looking. She's probably about 1500 grams now. She'll breed this fall. She's really, really nice looking. So even though these aren't the most impressive when they first hatch, they grow up to be really, really pretty snakes. Okay, so that's a spider clown. Here is um, this is a pastel lesser hat clown to hat clown breeding, and hit on some pastels and some normals and pastel lessers, but we did manage to hit on a pastel lesser clown. And I just checked this one a few minutes ago. This is a boy, which actually means I'll have one to sell because I don't need any more males. I already kept a male of these back last year and I've got a couple females too so I'm gonna actually put this one up for sale. So that's the Pastel Lesser Clown. The last clutch I have in here is a pretty rare clown combo clutch. This is from a Lemon Blast Hat Clown bred to a Mojave Hat Clown. So a lot of different clown possibilities in here and we hit on some pretty nice ones. Uh, here's just a nice clown male. Kind of busier pattern but really nice contrast. A 
That's just a clown. This one is a Mojave clown. This is a little bit different than the one. I hatched out one in uh, 2014 and it looks a little bit different. Um, this one's got really, really heavy blushing, like almost white on the sides of his body. Or her body, I guess this is a female. It's really nice colors. Okay, and then this is a jigsaw clown. So it's a Mojave pinstripe clown. Look at that head color. There's just no other clown morph that has a head that looks just like that. And this probably won't be the brightest, most spectacular looking snake on its own, but genetically it's so powerful. You can get both Mojave clowns and pinstripe clown combos all from this one snake. This one's a male too, which probably means he's going to stay with me, but you never know. If I get the right offer, I just might sell him. It's hard to say. I produced a Lemon Blast clown a couple weeks ago too, and I'm, I was planning on keeping that one. I think I'll only keep one out of the two though. Okay, so that's uh, that's some of this week's hatchings. The babies, we had a really, really good week. Just ha We've got more clutches in this hatching, a lot of more common stuff like queen bees and stuff like that are hatching up too. So uh, if you want to see what I actually have for sale, take a look at the website, royalconstrictordesigns.com. I'm trying to get new stuff posted there on a regular basis. Um, you know, Every week or two weeks, I try to put up 30 or 40 new snakes, but it's just hard because I'm taking care of all these babies and eggs and just trying to get through you know, getting everything fed and watered properly, so it's hard for me to always get them up for sale uh, real quickly. Um, I do have a master list on my website of everything that I currently have available, even if it's not on the website, and then most of the stuff that I have for sale is actually on the site with individual photos. So check it out. Uh, let me know if there's anything that you're looking for, and also check out our Facebook page. Uh, just uh, do a search for royalconstrictordesigns.com. I'm on Facebook. I'm always posting new pictures of stuff on there. So uh, definitely check it out, and I will be making more videos uh, pretty quickly.